all right guys welcome to my video today it's just going to be a quick short one and it's going to be about is plastering right for you so this is for anyone who's interested in the plastering trade or rendering trade i want to give you some a little bit of an insight i'm not going into too much great detail like i say it's going to be a quick video and i'm just going to basically go through some of the ways you can get into it what to expect and then you know do you think it'll be for you and if you would like me to do some more videos on it to explain in more detail what we actually do as plasterers and renderers so i'm going to get into it Three, there's three main ways to get into the plastering and rendering trade. One is being an apprentice. So that is where you work with a company. So you can either work one day a week and I mean work four days a week with them and go to college for one day a week. I think another apprenticeship scheme uh, that I heard of before was like a block week. So you'd work with a company for like say four weeks and you go into college and do like a week there. Yeah. So both both of them apprenticeship scheme apprentice schemes that I've I've just said there, like I said, a one day at college and then the, the block week at college, are both good ways because you're getting on site, working with alongside uh, qualified plasterers or proper plasterers day in day out, and you're just taking a, a a day off to go to college to do basically the paperwork side of things. So that's a good way. Another way is um, a labourer, so becoming a plasterer's labourer. So that's someone like say like me as a company or. Um, someone else as a company, you know, plasterer would do, take you under their wing basically, and they would teach you everything how to how to go about it. To me, that is probably the best way. Um, I kind of did that one. Um, when I when I was learning to plaster, I kind of got you're right. You're kind of in at the deep end. You've got to show that you you're willing to to crack on and and improve. So you kind of you know. You're in at the deep end, you're in with the big boys, and what it is, you start at the bottom, you're mixing up. Um, that's where you start as a mixer, loading out, hacking off wall, that is it. But that's where I started, and that is, in my eyes, the best way, straight in. Um, another way is college. Now, full-time college. For me, I've seen guys who've done full-time college, who've done three years in college, and then they've come to work with us in a com at the company, not my company, but when, when I was doing my time as a labourer and I'm coming up, I had guys who were coming from college who'd been there for three years and I was a lot more advanced than them being trained for six months on site than they was being three years. Do you know, so on paperwork, they've got all the certificates and all the qualifications, you know, to level three, which is, which is awesome. It's good to have on paper. I mean, I've got mine. I did them later on, but to actually go to college and then think you're going to be a plaster when you come out is unrealistic. It's, you need more experience and on-site, hands-on work. So I think being full-time at college, I'm not going to knock it. You know, if you're going from, from high school and then you're going to college to, to do it and then you're going to go do an apprentice from there, it's a bit of a longer route. But, you know, I understand for someone who's 15, 16, it's going to be hard for them to just come out of school and go straight to a job. So, you know, it does give you a bit of structure and a bit of discipline going to college, I reckon. But as far as being pushed on skill-wise, it'll probably put you back a bit. But, you know, it's 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 the least one I would go with, college. Um, then it would be a, an apprentice where you're at work and college. And then the top one for me is if you can get on with a good company or a good plaster or a good renderer and you can just be a, a day in, day out mixing it with the, with the big boys, that is your best way to learn. Harder, but it's the best way to learn. And now when I'm talking about learning, don't expect to pick plastering up straight away or rendering straight away. It, it just It's just not one of them jobs. It's just not one of them careers where you pick up straight away. How many times I've met people, customers, friends of mine who've gone, I tried plastering, it just won't for me. I've tried this, it just won't for me. This is the common thing that I hear a lot of the time. And it's not like it won't for them. It's, well, some of them might not be, you know, because it is a... Uh, isn't our job but you haven't stuck with it anything in life you've got to stick with it haven't you you don't just you don't just expect you don't just get good at football by kicking a ball one time do you do you know what i mean you don't you don't you know you need to practice practice makes perfect so you've got to go and you've got to return you've got to keep going every day returning back every day and getting better and better that's with anything in life so a lot of people 
it is a messy job, so it probably first day, first week they've done it, they probably think, oh, this is a mess, I'm looking at mess I'm making. <sighs> Not for me, that. And that's what they'll do. But really, if you're working with good good guys like I did when I was coming up, they taught me everything. They taught me how to, to you know, keep clean and tidy and how to, that one of the main things that I got taught. So, you know, depending on who you're learning with, it'll, you know, it'll reflect your opinion of it. But yeah, it's one of the hardest jobs to learn. And I reckon solid six months work alongside someone, you should be a decent level. You should be you should be good enough to, to go in and plaster rooms with that person. A bit like Sambo works with me. I could I could put a full kitchen on with him in a mix. He isn't the best finisher, but that's gonna come with experience. But the actual physical work and the actual, you know, putting on and stuff like that is like a sponge, you takes it in. So if you're that type of person, it will be for you. Don't be put off by people who say, it won't for me, just because they haven't they give it longer than a week. So get stuck in, stick at it, and you'll get good. Again, I believe six months is the minimum you really want to give it, and you've got to give it your all, because that person who's giving you a chance, they've probably been let down a lot of times before. So if you are, do get a chance, take it, and like I say, six months at least. I'll tell you what to expect as well. So when I'm telling you six months, you might be thinking, this guy said six months, and he's... Can't do this for six months. Look, your days could be long. And when about six o'clock starts, six o'clock you're getting up, leaving your house, going to work, it's cold, and you might be getting home at six o'clock. So you could have long days. That'll come down with experience, believe me. There's days now where sometimes I finish at five, six o'clock, but sometimes I finish at two o'clock. So, you know, it all comes down to, you know, experience and, and how good you get at certain things. But at the beginning, long days, expect them. Um physically it's going to be hard you're not you know growing up as a kid you're never used to lifting boards above your head you're not used to carrying 25 kg sacks mixers transformers big kangos all this stuff you've never done so you've got to be kind of robust and be open to that like you are going to ache i remember when i first got into it going home from work after my, my first few weeks of doing it and laying on my bed with my work clothes on my mum would make me dinner and she'd be shouting me, shouting me. I'd just be laying on bed. She'd come up and I'd, I'd sleep from finishing work at six o'clock, getting in at six. I'd sleep till the morning, get up, have a shower, have my brekkie, and go back out again. And that's, I remember that happening quite a lot. So it is a robust job. And I've always trained. I've always been at gym. I've always played football. But it kind of, it's a different type of fitness. And it got me. So yeah, if you want to do it, just remember it's going to be a physical, hard demanding job. You get used to it though with any training, with any type of activity, you do it over and over, it gets easier. So don't worry, at first it's gonna be hard, but it gets easier. Pay. Now, a lot of people think they're just gonna go in and get paid top money. Listen, I started out on 50 quid a day, right? 50 quid a day sounds like all right to a teenager, done it. 50 quid a day, that's nice, but I had a van, I had to pay my insurance. So after a thousand pound a month, Taking my tax off at 20% left me with 800 quid. Then I had to pay for my van insurance, which was £230 a month because I was only young. Do you know what I mean? So I had to pay for my own van insurance. I had to pay for my fuel, which was 50 quid a week. You know, this 800 quid's going. Do you know what I mean? It's going. <laughs> then you've got to give your mum some money, whatever. She'll she'll let you pay her because you're broke. And then you want to you wanna spend a tenner on night out with your mates when you go to... Or you can drink, don't you? So... And the kebab at the end at night, you need 15 quid for that a week. So, you know, 800 quid didn't go far. But the reality is, it's priceless. It wasn't about the money. The stuff I know now and the career I've got now, you know, all that made me. So don't get caught up on the money part of it. You might, you might, you're going to get paid next to now when you first start. But after six months, I went up. Um, and after another year, after a year, another six months, so a total of 12 months, I went up again. And then when I was doing my time with this company, I end up leaving there as one of the, the top earners on 120 quid a day, which doesn't sound like a lot of money now, but when you're looking at commercial companies uh, who was paying you every day, that was a good wage back then. So the reality is it took me probably three or four years to get to that. So it is, it is a, a bit of a journey when it comes to pay, but now look, I've got it for life. No one can take that away from me. I can plaster anything. I can... I can render anything. I, I know all the tricks and all the, the skills and all the ability to do it. So, yeah, the pay, low pay to what I have now is, is, is definitely worth it. So, yeah, if it's for you, 
just have a have a look over them things what I've just said there. You know, remember that you can be an apprentice, a labourer. Um, that's how you want to get trained up or go to college. Um, it takes it's going to take you a few years to get good at it, and uh, it's going to take you a few years to get some good money. But after that, you've got a career and you're set, and then it's up to you what decision you go. You can work for yourself, you can work for a company, you can do rendering, you can do plastering, dry lining, damp proofing, screening. There's so many different aspects of plastering that you could go into and find what you love. Mine happens to be rendering and domestic plastering. That's my favourite, and that's what I market, and that's what I do. So, you know, if you actually think it is for you, I'm going to be posting more videos on this. All you need to do is like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll be posting more videos I'll be obviously be posting projects of what I do and how I do work, but I'm going to be posting more stuff for people who want to do what I do, who want to be a tradesperson, a plasterer or a renderer. Uh, I think it's only right that I, I explain and share my knowledge with people. So, like I say, if you know anyone who, who might want to see this, who benefit from it, share it with them, send it to them. And like I say, give us a, a subscribe and a follow and a thumbs up. Any questions, just comment it below and I'll answer them for you. But yeah, I hope it helps. And like I say, watch out for the next one.